What's up, people of YouTube? This is Grow Me Something Mister. It's time to show y'all point number 10 of the 10 point planting guide to growing amazing brassicas. So, you already made your harvest, and it's time for you to now do long term storage in the freezer by blanching your produce. Blanching is simply boiling your produce in salted water for between one to two minutes. You can cut these any size you like. I like to cut mine in larger sizes. That way the people that receive the broccoli, they can break it down as far as they want to. The smaller pieces will blanch uh, much uh, quicker, thus become softer. You can see I have some already blanched. And look at the difference in color. It becomes a bright green and they're on a cooling rack so they can start to drain off a bit. And these cooling racks will go in the freezer so they can start to freeze individually. But let me just show y'all first off about cutting the broccoli. I like to cut them in larger pieces like this here and just put them in my colander. It gives me the opportunity to go through and you see if you see different things with it. You can either discard it, wash it. I'll put this on the side for right now. All the castings from this will go into compost. None of this goes back into the trash. It goes back into the uh, garden system. A question that some of y'all might have is, hey, do I have to blanch these before eating it raw or cooking it fresh? And the answer is no. This is just for long-term storage. And what blanching does is it's, it stops the enzymatic action uh, for any of the, the microorganisms that's around the plant um, so that it can actually stay in the freezer fresher longer. So there's everything cut up. This here, if you want, you can still cut this up. People will cut this, peel the outside, and boil this a little bit longer because it's tougher. Um, this is just going straight to compost. Uh, the people that are receiving um, this broccoli, they're just basically getting the florets. I guess it goes without saying, but just in case, you'd want to give these a nice washing. Uh, you can put this in a uh, sink full of water if you like, or containers full of water. I just happen to use this colander right here to get things strained, get things washed out. It's up to you how you want to do it. Now we'll get these to drain just for a second before putting them in a the salted boiling water. But as I mentioned, you can see here, these are already blanched. They're cool. They were placed in a bath of ice water. And now they're just on these trays here to drain for a few moments. Maybe about 5-10 minutes to drain. If you wanted to pat them with a towel, that's perfectly fine. These will go into the freezer. I'll put them there for maybe 20 minutes or so until they start to ice over. Once they ice over, I'll put them in freezer bags. Here they are after about an hour or so while I was doing other things. They're not iced over but they are very cold so we'll take each of these pieces put them in our storage bag here and of course I have them marked with the date what they are and of course I've got them marked big. It's Bright Day Gardens. So we'll just take a mixture of some of the large ones, small ones, put them in each bag so that uh, People that get this, they get a little mixture of some of the larger ones that they can cut up and some of the smaller ones that they can, you know, heat up right away and have it as snacking broccoli. For those that like to eat broccoli, I don't like to eat it, so I just grow it and give it away. Okay. So that's storing it up right there. Each of these will just be taken, I'll take the air out, each one of these, seal them up, stick that in the freezer for long-term storage, and uh, we'll be back. I'll close out this video by showing y'all what I did with the cabbage. I removed the heavy outer leaves, cut the stalk at the base of the cabbage, cut them in quarters, made sure to keep the core intact. It helps keep everything together, or most of everything together, when you go to put it into the boiling water. I did blanch these for two minutes or so. I probably could have let them go for three minutes, but I decided to just cut it short at two minutes for each of these quarters. I put them into the ice bath, let them stay there for about two minutes, let that drain a good bit, and then I put them onto the racks here. This will go into the freezer easily for an hour to start frosting over. Then I'll put this in storage bags. If you want to put it in a storage container, that's fine as well. If you want to eat it now uh, with some sort of dish, that's fine as well. But all of this is for long-term storage uh, with the blanching. So... Okie dokes, I thank y'all very much for watching. This is Grow Me Something Mister.
And remember, hmm, don't look a monkey in the eye. Nah, that's stupid. I don't have an eggs line yet, so see you later, everybody.